Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. And who might your father be? If he lives on this boat, I know him. Oh yeah? And I'm a fairy princess. You keep up this smart-ass attitude, and you're gonna wind up floating face down in the river. All right, all right. You can go on in. If I hear about any trouble, you're gonna wind up in the river. You get me? Hey. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to... This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Need to do some killing, eh? Thanks. If I do the repairs around here, so if you see something that needs fixing, let me know.
scientific center in the capital with Baseland, I find your... Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over them. You there? What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Ah, a woman of action. I knew I'd pick the right person for the job. Let me be clear. You won't be looking for a lost puppy or family heirloom. You'll be searching for an android. Do you know what an android is? No, I imagine you don't. You see, we've moved beyond those primitive buckets you call robots and have created artificial intelligence. Sentient machines. Artificial persons that think and feel what we program them to. Occasionally their programming miscalculates. They get confused and wander off. Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Of course you do. Hey. Yeah, you need something? Come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. 
It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Goddamn like radio. Come on. You Wait. just leave that fucking thing that... alone, Gob. Damn it. Work. Come on, work. Don't Why? give it up, Don't Gob. Go not going to work. Do you want something, or are you just looking to get your ass beat? Ms. Welcome West. to Moriarty's saloon. Yeah, yeah. Gob? Or are you just looking to get your ass beat? My, my. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl, I am very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Finally. Someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge, constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Color me intrigued. Go on. Five hundred, you say? Well, uh, um, yes. Yes, I think that can be arranged. I must admit, I find you enchanting. Uh, do this for me, and there's no telling how far my gratitude will reach. Take the fusion pulse charge, place it into the bomb, and meet me at Tenpenny Tower. There I will show you what true power is. Time is wasting. Hey. Can I help you? Good to see you're staying out of trouble.